Tell me, have those upstart farmers out west finally decided that opposing us is too much hassle? Ah, <sighs> of course not. And here I thought burning their fields would do the trick. A little hunger makes everyone more pliable. Well, I suppose we could burn half of their village, but we do need them. Oh, yes. Unfortunately, half of the food for this region comes from those mud scrapers. Uh, I will be so much happier when I can deal with this from a more royal position. <laughs> ah, yes. Unfortunately, I have to wait until the old man dies. Well, it was the promise I made at my wedding, after all. And I would so hate to... Upset, my beloved. <laughs> Don't think I haven't had those thoughts. It would be so easy to decommission the old man. Oh, of course, I wouldn't even get my hands dirty doing it. You know that. <laughs> I'd hire someone for it. Make sure I was far enough away, but... Uh, let's see how it goes. I'd prefer a cleaner transition to the throne. Well, you'll forgive me, but... In this, I think calm is better than chaos. You know me. I'm a fan of chaos. I, I enjoy sowing mayhem and discord. It suits me. But I am trying to keep my spouse happy. It makes life easier. Oh, believe me, it does. If they're happy, then their father is happy. If their father is happy, then I don't have to worry about him trying to flex what little authority he thinks he might have. And trust me, he seems to think he has some still. Ah, oh, you must understand. Letting him think he's in control allows me such leverage over this country. I can do whatever I want behind the scenes when he's not looking. I just simply have to keep quiet certain activities. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It would be easier to just kill the old man. But, not yet. Let's see how things play out. By the gods, what has you smashing in my door? My lord, forgive me. We've just received news. Uh, quickly, out with it, you wretched thing, you. You're betrothed. They've been taken. What? They were out riding. They were taken. We, we don't know by whom. You don't know? We can't identify their livery. Do you have someone who can describe it? 
Um, they said it was purple with uh, gold trimming and a red falcon. <sighs> the eastern region. My lord? That is the livery of the Duke of the Eastern Region. The hell he's doing in my territory, I have no idea. Uh, apparently he was here to kidnap your... I know what he was here to do. I was being hyperbolic, fool. Forgive me. Get out of my sight right now. Go tell my forces, my forces, not the king's, saddle their horses. We're going for a ride. My lord? Now! Of course, my lord. Son of a bitch. No, this does not make things easier for me. No one touches that which is mine. You know that. If he can put his hands on them, it makes me look weak. What? Fondness? I'm not getting fond of anyone. Do you really think this is the time to make jokes? Would you like to see how fond of you I really am? That's what I thought. Watch your tongue next time. Get to your horse. Get it saddled. We're going to get them back. If you think for one second I'm letting that pig of a man keep them, you're out of your damned mind. Go! Well, it looks like I'm interrupting. Yes, but what else would I expect from gutter trash like you? No. You're right. I wasn't really raised with manners. Only force. So it's all I really know. You know nothing, scum. You're not royalty. You don't understand how this game is played. Oh, <laughs> this game. I understand this game, my fellow duke. You're not a duke. You're not one of us. On that, you are very right. But, to be fair, it's not something I really wanted. Hello, my darling. Tell me, who did this to you? Now, darling, please, we don't have much time. What? Oh, my forces are ransacking your city. And not that army detachment that I was given by the king. My forces, the ones I entered this kingdom with. Now... Darling, please, who did this? I see. Listen here. Did he touch you? All right. Shh, darling. Everything will be all right. Listen, scum. I'll make it all right. I said, listen, silence. You 
laid your hands on them. I... I... You hurt them. See here. You bound them to a chair and hurt them. I, I, I'm a duke. And what? That gives you a right to do these things? Your father was some fat, disgusting royal before you, and that gives you the right to treat people like this? These are my people. I was made the duke by the king's royal decree. And I'll be having words with him as well. But for now, you're my focus. Let me live. Why? I'll give you the keys to my treasury. I can pillage gold and silver and jewels enough for a lifetime. But revenge... Revenge is a far sweeter sacrament. I, I know things. Secret things. And you don't think I have spies? Not who could tell you how to get into the king's palace from outside the city walls. And why would I care about that? Because you really don't want to wait for the king to just die to take the throne, do you? You're not that patient of a man. The throne doesn't concern me at this moment. But good information always does. So you let me live? That depends on how good the information is. I need a promise. Fine. I promise I won't kill you. Shh. Not to worry, darling. I'm sure he won't be long for this world. So we're agreed. Agreed. There's a sewage pipe that empties into Lake Oriya. If you sent your men into it, they would be let out into the cistern of the palace. Huh. A bit of a shit way to get in, if you ask me. Perhaps, but you'll be in the bowels of the castle with unfettered access. Well... I do appreciate the information. Good. Now, take your plaything and leave. Stay here for just one moment, darling. Come here, you fat piece of shit. Now wait just one second. I've done enough waiting for one lifetime. Wait. 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 Come here. Come here! Come here. Come out here. <laughs> yes, right here. Right to the balcony you stand on when you shout down at your people. But I I'm a duke. Do you see these chains? I brought them especially for you. I'm going to chain you up right here. Right on this balcony so that you can watch. But you, you promised. You said if I let them go, you'd spare me. I said I wouldn't kill you. And I won't. Hunger will do that. Or maybe thirst. But not me. But, but why? Because, like I said, I'm going to make you watch. Watch what? I'm going to make you watch as I destroy your fucking city and everyone in it. I want them all to know the price of their duke's arrogance. Please, you, you can't. Why? Because you're a duke? Will the gods strike me down for this? Please, please. Now, be a good duke and watch. Can you walk, darling? Shh, 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 that's all right. I've got you. Put your arm around my neck. Because I'm going to carry you. That's right. 
Up you get. I've got you. Shh, hush now, darling. Let's leave the Duke to his show. You can't do this! Watch me. How are you feeling? No, 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 no. You have nothing to apologize for. He took you. You did nothing wrong. Why do you feel silly? Darling, fighting back would have just gotten you more injured. You're not a soldier. You're not a killer. You're certainly not me. He sent his soldiers for you. Honestly, I'm glad you didn't fight back. You would have gotten hurt more. Now, where would you get the idea that I don't care? I'm a villain, but you're still my spouse, my partner. We stood up in front of your whole kingdom and pledged ourselves to one another. <laughs> Perhaps. I'm not exactly the religious type. To be honest, I was tingling inside the church. Still not sure your gods weren't trying to set me on fire. <laughs> However, I did make a promise to you. I would never hurt you. I would never lay a hand on you without your permission. As such, I also won't let anyone else hurt you. I won't let anyone else lay a hand on you. And I'll kill any fat, stupid old men who think they can take you from me. Oh, that was exactly his plan. Don't kid yourself, darling. He wanted to get to me, but he knew he couldn't touch me, so he went after you. <laughs> I just don't think the old fool expected me to burn his city to the ground. Ah, uh, yes, the people. Such a shame. <laughs> But necessary. Oh, yes, necessary. You see, that story will spread through the kingdom. If you come after me, if you come after the people I care for, I'll burn every last one of you. No one will ever stand against me again. The commoners will be too afraid. Oh, yes. Imagine the next duke, or count, or earl, or any of those other fools touching you to get to me. Their own people will rise up against them, throw them off the highest tower they can find, and then bring you back to me on a gilded palantine. That is, if anybody's even stupid enough to make that mistake ever again. <laughs> Darling, I would never let anyone hurt you. 
And I'm sorry that he did. I'm sorry that he touched your beautiful face. Does it... Does it hurt? I'm so sorry. <sighs> Don't... Don't kid yourself, I'm not... getting emotional. Like I said, nobody gets to hurt you. Here. I brought this up from the kitchens. Well, I figured bringing you a raw steak to put across your eye was not the most dukely thing to do, after all. So, ice. Yes, apparently as a duke, I can just get ice. Who would have thought? <laughs> the kitchens have a massive block of it. Gently, gently now. May I? Here. I know, I know, I know it hurts. Believe me, I know it hurts. I've been there. More times than I care to think on. Shh, 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 shh. It's okay. I'm right here, darling. Huh. Don't think too much into it, okay? I just... I don't like seeing you hurt, okay? Don't think for one second I'm losing my edge. <laughs> Darling, I just burned a city to the ground. I think my reputation as a villain, as the bad guy, is still perfectly intact. If anything, it's more terrifying now. The Duke will go to the ends of the earth to rescue his beloved and burn anybody who stands in his way. Think of the songs they're going to sing about me. <laughs> well, perhaps you'll find you enjoy them. No, I'm not sure how he knew where you were. I'll be looking into that, don't worry. If there's a leak in my... Inner circles. I'll be sure to plug it. And I'll find who was responsible for what happened. And I'll make sure they suffer for it. My darling. No one hurts you. You know that. Now, get some rest. Shh. Get some rest. I'll leave you alone. What is it? Can I stay? <laughs> I never thought I'd hear those words out of your mouth. You'd feel safer. <laughs> I think that is the first time anyone has ever said they'd feel safer with me around. Well, if that is your wish, I'd be only too happy to grant it. You get some sleep. I'll be sitting right here. I'll keep you safe, darling. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs>